Hey there, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. I'm here with Adam McDonald, the guy behind Auto Trickler. We got some pretty cool stuff to announce today. Yes, we do. I'm I'm really excited to be here showing for the first time the pre-production unit of the Auto Trickler V3. Okay, so V3, this is the third revision. What are the new features? We've got three pretty major improvements here. The first one is there's Bluetooth hardware on board, which connects to a companion app on your iOS or Android mobile device. So I can basically take my tablet or my phone and control the auto trickler system yes. via that free app. Makes things much easier. Mm -hmm. And the second is a completely redesigned auto throw, uh, CNC machined aluminum. And the third, we have an adjustable trickler base, which just makes things much easier for fine tuning flow rate. Okay, so we'll cover all of those features and details in depth, but first, to help us paint a picture of how this came to be, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so uh, I'm from Canada. I shoot F-Class long range mm -hmm. competitively, and, um, and I really needed a way to load powder charges accurately to the kernel and mm -hmm. quickly, you know, because we need to load 50 or 100 rounds for a match, and it really helps to save time, but also have the most accurate powder charge you can mm -hmm. for long range shooting. So, um, you know, I came up with this system about three years ago, um, and the core idea is that we have an automated trickler with a motor and a really, really accurate scale. And they work together to measure powder charges down to the to the kernel in you know 10 seconds or so. So uh, I, in the last three years, I've made constant improvements and I've just been constantly iterating on the design. And it's been a really popular system among uh, among a lot of competitive long range shooting. All the while, I'm getting a lot more serious about the research that I'm doing and the analysis and the stories that I'm telling about rifle shooting and rifle reloading. So I'm actually really excited to adopt this system into my workflow so that I can have that same level of precision and really have the kind of scientific data that I can stand behind and, and do it in a timely manner. Yeah, exactly. We both approach shooting, long range shooting, very scientifically. Mm -hmm. um, powder measurement is one of the most important things that you can control for any sort of shooting, you know, PRS, ELR, F-Class, um, research, any sort of load development that you do. Uh, if you can make sure that the amount of powder that you put into your case is exactly right, that's just one less variable to worry mm -hmm. about. Um, every kernel of powder is worth around one to two feet per second, depending on your, your caliber you're using. Yep. So uh, if you can get that velocity spread down from 10 or 20 feet per second, um, just talking about the error from the powder charge measurement itself, down mm -hmm. to you know one or two or three feet per second, that basically makes a huge difference in your group sizes. Because it's at compounded range. at long ranges, right? The right. further you go out, it becomes more and more and more of a factor, very aggressively at long distances. Right, right. Okay, so let's talk about an example scenario. I just shot a PRS match where I needed about 120 rounds of precision loaded ammo. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways you could do that very precisely would be with a balance beam scale. You dump a charge and then you trickle up to weight. It could take about, what, a minute per, per round to measure the powder. Right. So if I need 120 rounds for the match ammo alone, no practice rounds, that's about 120 minutes worth of powder measurement time. Right. Now if we use the auto trickler, we can get the same result, right? Yeah, yeah. So with this system, the basic concept here is the auto throw on top will first dispense most of your charge into the pan. So let's say you're loading 40 grains, then mm -hmm. you might set the auto throw to drop 38, and mm -hmm. that will immediately go, as soon as you put the pan on the scale, it will immediately drop 38 grains into the pan, and then the trickler will uh, ramp down very precisely to 40 grains and stop within mm -hmm. plus or minus one kernel of your target mm -hmm. almost all the time. And that whole process takes about 10 seconds. So, okay. so, so it's, it's almost the same way then, right? You could do it manually by dumping with a powder measure and trickling up on the balance beam. This is just completely automating that with electronics. Right, we're replacing the, the precise needle that you have to bend over a, a, you know, a table to look mm -hmm. at with a really, really high quality lab scale. And then the trickling process is completely automated and designed to be really efficient at getting you to that target weight in, in about 10 seconds. So for your 120 round example, that's like 25 minutes. Awesome. So let's talk about the evolution of the auto trickler. Okay, so uh, at first, before the auto trickler, uh, a lot of long range competitive shooters were already using a type of scale like this that could mm -hmm. weigh to the kernel, but the process was about manually trickling up using mm -hmm. the scale as, uh, as precise measurement. Um, but they were really just waiting for someone to come along and automate this. Um, it really needed to happen. Yeah. So, so where I came in, I, I, the first thing I did was I made this electronics board, which fits inside the scale into its expansion port, mm -hmm. and it receives the weight from the scale in real time, and then runs a stepper motor at a very precise speed in order to efficiently ramp down to the target you know, as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. And so the trade-offs there obviously are, if you go too fast, and if you're too aggressive, you'll overshoot. Right. 
And if you're too slow, it'll take forever to get up to the charge weight. Right, so there's two adjustments that you make to solve that problem. Okay. Um, the first one is your, your course adjustment. The first thing you look at is the, the overall flow rate of the trickler. So when mm -hmm. it's running at full speed, it should be uh, dumping about a half a grain per second into the pan. Okay. And, and you adjust that by tilting the trickler forward or backward. So the tube angle is changing, right. steeper is more, shallower is less. Exactly, okay. and that's kind of the main way to prevent overthrows and to ensure it's consistent. Mm -hmm. So with the original design, we had a flat base and the process was generally to shim the, the base slightly with a sticker or a piece of paper. And the, one of the major improvements here with V3 is a redesigned base that has a screw which has a rubber foot on the end of it mm -hmm. and it's at a 20 degree angle so you can turn it very slightly and it will very fine tune adjust the flow rate. So, so this mount has three rubber feet, it's a nice strong triangle base um, with a screw for adjusting the flow rate very, very quickly. And then the second adjustment is there's a slider on the electronics. So once you have it pretty much dialed in and you're mm -hmm. loading and you realize, oh, it goes over by a little bit or it's taking a little too long, then you can just move that slider very slightly to the fast side or the slow side and, and uh, try to get it to be exactly where you want it. Gotcha. So it started with the trickler itself, then came the auto throw. Tell us about the auto throw. Right, so the auto throw was uh, meant to address the problem of dropping your initial bulk charge. So mm -hmm. normally, you know, originally you would scoop. You would the the trickler was only to trickle up the last couple of grains. Yep. But you would scoop manually, or you would use another system to get your bulk charge. So it's faster and a little bit less tedious. Right. This makes it a completely hands-off, automated system. Ten mm -hmm. seconds, it drops most of your charge, and the trickler will finish up. Uh, as soon as the scale says zero, it just all happens. So if I'm working at the reloading bench, that allows me to multitask. And sure. I can listen to the unit when it's done, then I just dump it. Yeah, or you could have mm -hmm. two or three of them set up side by side and, and always have one finished ready mm -hmm. to go into the next case. So, so tell me about the first iteration of the auto throw. So the original design for the auto throw was, uh, it was a Lee powder measure, off the shelf powder measure, which I adapted a motor to. And I chose that specific powder measure because it's the only one that has this internal rubber wiper, at least mm -hmm. the only one I know of, that, that really makes it so kernels get pushed out of the way instead of requiring excessive force to, to overcome a jam or to slice yep. it in half. Gotcha. So that's a key part of having an automated powder measure. Mm -hmm. But uh, there were issues with that design. I mean, that powder measure is not really meant to be automated with a motor like sure. this. So, um, you know, very fine ball powders would tend to leak in between the sliding surfaces and there was a tension adjustment that you'd have to tighten and if it was too tight it wouldn't work at all. Gotcha. And, and so there's a lot of manual, I mean it can work and it does work really well for, for most powders, but, but there's a lot of manual adjustment that makes it sort of just a little bit more work than mm -hmm. it really ought to be. So the real solution here that I came up with was to completely design my own powder measure from scratch with completely machined aluminum. Mm. It's, it's very precision fit. So there's, there's a rubber wiper as part of it, it's in there, and the, the motor will cycle very smoothly with no adjustments. And it's you know, got actual ball bearings on there too, yeah. right? Yeah, ball bearings hold everything exactly in place. Mm -hmm. um, there's a rubber piece, there's a seal inside, and it, it just runs really, really well, and it works well with all sorts of different powders. So, Bluetooth. You've been telling me this is your number one requested feature for V3. Tell us about it. Right, so um, initially the traditional way of setting a charge weight into the scale, since the scale doesn't really have a keypad for typing it in directly, mm -hmm. is you would manually put the weight that you want on the scale. So you would trickle up by hand, mm -hmm. and then you would press a button and it would lock that in. So from that point on, you just have to do that once for a loading session, but it will automatically run up to that target. The problem with that method is that if you want to change charge weights frequently, say if you're doing ladder testing and you want to load five rounds at one charge and then move up 0.1 grains, mm -hmm. then it's a little bit extra work. Mm -hmm. So uh, people have been asking me for a long time to have some solution to make this easier. So for V3, we have uh, Bluetooth integrated electronics connected to any Android or iOS phone, tablet, as long as it has Bluetooth low energy support, Bluetooth 4, yep. which is a fairly modern standard at this point. Mm -hmm. um, it's an app you download, the app is free, and it will let you type in a charge weight, uh, cancel it, and you can increment or decrement by one grain, 0.1 grains, 0.01 grains, it also works in grams. <laughs> wow. Basically anything you need to do, you should be able to do it in yep. like five seconds. Gotcha. Um, we also have manual control of the motors. So the idea here is if you need to prime the tube with powder, mm -hmm. uh, you want to clean out the powder quickly, you want to just cycle the auto throw a few times, mm -hmm. you just press a button and it'll happen. It makes things just a lot easier. It's just an easier system to manage. Yep, awesome. Okay, so let's walk through a complete end-to-end -end scenario. Let's say I've got a load I'm working with where I need to load a whole bunch of rounds with 52.6 grains of powder. All right. So you would generally start by filling the hopper with powder and, and turn the valve open. Okay. And 
fill the auto trickler with powder and just make sure everything is positioned correctly. Um, mm -hmm. There's a tray there to hold the cup in the center so it always goes back into the right place. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next thing is to adjust the auto throw to drop roughly two to two and a half grains below the target weight. So in this case, 50 to 50.5 grains. Okay. So there's an adjustment on the side that you would turn to the, to the five mark because the, there's marks every 10 grains or so. Gotcha. Um, so then uh, you can use the, the Bluetooth app to cycle the auto throw to make sure that that's right. So you'd press the cycle auto throw button and it would run and it would drop 50.5 grains and then you can adjust it as needed. Mm -hmm. Then you would enter the target weight into the app 52.6 okay. and hit the start button and, and it's good to go from that point. Okay, so now it's going to go ahead and dispense 52.6 grains. When I take the cup off the scale and charge my case, put it back, it's going to be back at zero and then the auto trickler knows to initiate a new cycle. Right, from that point it's automated. Every time the scale sees zero, it will run start to finish. Um, the only thing is if, if you notice it's going a little too fast or a little too slow, um, you know, you want to trade off accuracy for speed, you can adjust the flow rate of the trickler and you can adjust the slider on the electronics in the back just to dial it in the way you want. And once you get through five or six or seven charges, it'll be pretty much ready to go for your whole session. Gotcha. So that's super helpful to see the entire Auto Trickler V3 system in action end to end. Now, if people want to buy the Auto Trickler V3 or to get more information, where should they go? My website, autotrickler.com. Uh, I've got all the improvements in V3 available as upgrades and also the complete V3 system on my website at autotrickler.com. Okay. And I'm excited to get started with this system. I'm going to be using Auto Trickler and a couple of your other tools for technical articles that I'm publishing and in videos and other stories. This is going to really help me take my research and my work to the next level. So you're going to want to stick around for that. Make sure you're subscribed to GavinTube with notifications. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.